Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing three cards. Each card is going to represent a segment of the upcoming week. And the idea behind this reading is just to get kind of a general overview of the week ahead to see what kinds of themes and opportunities lie in wait for us. Okay, so the first card is going to be Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, so we're off to kind of a shitty note here <laughs> with the Five of Swords. Here's someone, she's got two swords stuck in her back, and this guy is walking away looking rather, I don't know, smug or something. So Five of Swords, this is one of those cards, um, there's, a, there's maybe two or three cards in a tarot deck that I really struggle to read, and this is one of them. The others are Justice and, what's the other one? There's another one, I can't remember right now, but Five of Swords is definitely one of those cards that I struggle to read. Um, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. <laughs> so... What I'm getting from this card, I mean, the stabbed in the back imagery is one thing. So I feel like there's this theme of, almost a theme of, maybe not necessarily betrayal. Um, it could be betrayal, but it could also be disappointment. Like someone has let you down. You expected one thing from them and they didn't deliver or they, they gave you something else, something different than what you were expecting. So I feel like that's kind of the main theme of this card. And I feel like it does speak to a relationship of some sort, whether that's a romantic relationship, a friendship, or some kind of business relationship. It's this feeling of maybe being let down by someone, feeling like you can't rely on someone or you can't maybe even trust someone. So let's move into the middle of the week and see what comes up. So Wednesday, Thursday, woo, we've got Three of Cups, and Three of Cups has a very different energy to the Five of Swords, which is kind of nice. I'm kind of relieved to see such a bright, happy card. So the Three of Cups is a card about friendship. It's about celebration and being able to just let go of things and not take life so seriously. So to be able to, to laugh at yourself, to laugh at a situation, and to see or to find opportunities for celebration. So, and of course, there's also this theme of coming together with others who are, you know, like-minded, who also want to celebrate. So what I'm really getting from the Three of Cups is middle of the week is a time to kind of recalibrate and really sh like really make a conscious effort to shift your energy. If some shitty stuff happened at the beginning of the week, if you have some self-doubts or any kind of stress that's happening in the beginning of the week, use the middle of the week to reposition yourself in, in like an energetic way. So, um, you know, focus on what you want to celebrate, even ask yourself like, what, what is there to celebrate? You know, how can I have more fun this week? What can I do to bring laughter and joy? You know, how can I laugh at this situation? How can I find the humor in this situation? And end of the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have the Emperor. So the Emperor is a Major Arcana card, and the Major Arcana cards, I don't like to say that they're more important than the minor ones, but they have a little more spiritual oomph to them. And the Emperor is really about creating your own, your own rules, your own, um, not even rules, but like your own guidelines and discovering your own value system and kind of following that, using that as your compass as opposed to just following someone else's rule book on how to live your life or how to do things. And it makes me think of this quote, and I forget who said this quote, um, and I forget the exact quote, exactly how it was, but it was something like, 
um, if you don't make your own plans, if you don't, if you don't make your own life plan, uh, you're going to fall into somebody else's life plan. And guess what other others life plan has in store for you? Not much or something like that. So <laughs> I didn't really say it right, but I think it's a good quote. And it's basically saying, don't be lazy on this. Don't just, um, you know, try to, to follow someone else's recipe for how to live life or how to find success or whatever, like create your own life plan, create your own, uh, your own goals and stuff. Like don't just follow what other people say you should do or what, what you're supposed to do, kind of have your own life plan. And I feel like that's what the emperor is really saying to you. It's also encouraging you to really find your center of power. So when I look at this card, and the emperor is a powerful figure. He he's a powerful guy. He's got his feet firmly planted on the ground. He has this powerful stance. And I'm drawn to his kind of his stomach area where there's this um it's like this ball that he's it's almost like it's a spinning ball that he's levitating or something. And this is really, I think, kind of his point of power. This is about getting centered within yourself. And I think it was last week's readings, um, in last week's reading where there was this imagery of things spinning, of like circular things spinning. And I talked about, you know, getting centered within yourself. And I feel like that's kind of what this card is about. It's about standing on your own two feet and really getting a sense of who you are and what you want in being comfortable in your own skin, but also being comfortable being a powerful figure in your own life and being able to stand up for yourself, to be able to say what you want and to have enough self-respect to prioritize the things in your life that are truly important to you and not get caught up and waste time on things that aren't important to you. Okay, so I wanna Look at all three cards together. I'm just going to see if there's anything else that jumps out at me. I feel like this card is like, or, or this, this reading is kind of like this journey into yourself. You know, we start out with the Five of Swords, which is about maybe relationship troubles, uh, having a hard time trusting or relying on others. And then as we move into the week, it's kind of like the opposite. It's about actually surrounding yourself with people that you can trust, that you can rely on, people who are maybe like-minded, who you feel a sense of kinship with. And then at the end, it's all about focusing on you and the relationship that you have with yourself and with your own power. That's, that's the important thing with the emperor. This is about what kind of a relationship do you have with your own power? Are you afraid of it? Do you pretend you're not powerful? Um, or do you, are you in love with power? Do you lord it over others? Like, you know, what's your relationship like with power? And I feel like this week, um, it's like the beginning of the week, you're in relationship with someone who maybe, uh, maybe it's a difficult relationship. It might be someone that you don't quite trust you're not on the same page with them. And then Three of Cups is about being in relationship with people who you do trust, who you are on the same page with. And then the end of the week is about being in relationship with yourself and your own power. <laughs> and there's my kitty Merlina. She's telling me to wrap it up. She wants to go outside. And here's Henry. He's just, <laughs> he's on the floor. Hello, Henry. In his cat bed. He's just resting while Merlin is freaking out at the door. <laughs> okay, so that has been your reading for the week. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you're interested in learning about tarot, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. And of course, you can always subscribe to this channel if you uh, want to see more of my videos. I do these reading videos every single week. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week.